Welcome to Postscript from Faithbridge Church. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the message by sitting down with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here with Bible teacher Ben Stewart, who is joining us again. Welcome. Thanks. Okay, so since we saw you last, you kicked off a new semester of Breakaway. That's right. And how's yeah. that? Everything's it's been going awesome. good? awesome. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, a number of new staff members, and they're doing amazing, and there's upwards of 70,000 college students in the town. The town is crazy right now. So fun, though. Well, we are glad to have you back with us. Thanks. And so today we started a uh, look into Philippians. Yes. So talk to me a little bit about Philippians, what led you there, and um, just a little bit of background for us. Um, yeah, totally. I mean, um, I mean, Philippians, I guess part of what led me there is it's short, which is kind of nice to teach for a semester for us. But mm -hmm. I think more than that, it's probably the tightest packed in book of coffee mug bumper sticker quotes from the Bible that because Paul's just on a roll. I mean, mm -hmm. he's just really excited about who God is, what God is doing, and has some wonderful ways of framing things about the Christian life. And so I really wanted to get to those things and probably premiere of which is what we brought out today. You know, right. there are letters that Paul wrote where he's mad, like he wrote to mm -hmm. the Galatians and said, you foolish Galatians, who's bewitched you? He's frustrated with them, you know, to the Corinthians. They were a mess, you know, so he's like, stop getting drunk at communion, you know, and so much of Corinth is like, oh my gosh, trying to get these people to stay together. Whereas at Philippi, their home team, man, I mean, mm -hmm. they, he'll say it later that I came to you guys, you embraced Jesus, and I didn't even get to the next town before you were right there with me, supporting me. And so it's fun to get a window into a community that's killing it, that's doing great, that really loves each other, is really moving forward. And I, I wanted to focus on that because like we talked about today, that's the drive of the human heart. Mm -hmm. We want to be connected and we want a cause that's bigger than us. And Paul has that and the Philippians have that. And they have the ultimate one, the one we need. That is the connection to what God is doing. And so that's kind of what led me there. If that yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, Is that that's the good. short version? Yeah, 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 that's good. So um, as we started out today and we, we started looking at the opening, mm -hmm. and so you talked about the two needs. Just highlight those for me again. Yeah. Both the community and... Um, a cause. cause right. Yeah. And so we have a lot of opportunities here at Faithbridge yeah. to be included in either one. And of course, as Grow Group Director, I love the piece about <laughs> community. community. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. Um, love to see people involved in life change here. And um, that even Paul saw years and years and years, years ago. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so those two things. And then, um, so then we'll be moving through Philippians as yeah. you come back to see us for the next couple of weeks. So we're looking That's forward right. to see what you... Um, bring back for us then. Yeah, so feel free to read ahead. It's not a long book. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll take you roughly 12 minutes to read it out loud, you know, which is the slowest form of reading. So you can read Philippians pretty easily and uh, just start to get your head around how a healthy community of God talks to each other. Mm -hmm. I think is maybe the, the best thing you could grab out of that. And, and then where we're going and what matters to the people of God. It's all in there and it's really beautifully wit written and it's short. That's so awesome. Go for it. All yeah, right, yeah, well, yeah. thank you. Okay, and we'll see you back here next week. Sounds and thank good. you for your questions and for joining us today for Postscript. And we'll see you back here next week as well. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org forward slash postscript.